what about do you ever get news in Russia of American hacking you? Um, or does it happen? Well, I, think, I, 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 <laughs> I think I I I I think if that somehow gets in in the information space in Russia, uh, it's given as uh, well they tried, but clearly the American hackers are, are not worthy of mentioning. Well, <laughs> they're like they're I, not so they're not successful enough to be. I really mean, I don't. We might it might dangerous. be true though, because like I was saying to Turner off air, like we hear here about like we'll have a successful hack on Iran either us or the Israelis, where we take out their nuclear thing through a cyber virus. We've heard of stuff like that a few times. And I don't remember ever hearing of us like getting a really successful attack, cyber attack in Russia. So either we yeah, haven't I, tried I, I or haven't heard just, about yeah, like, I, don't, I don't know what we're waiting for, but uh, not the. <laughs> and the, is because um, also go, relating this to China, they're not the same country, obviously, but in China, um, there's it's there's a lot of people employed by the government to hack, but also comment, like leave comments. That's a job to leave comments on yeah, the yeah, news yeah. articles. And so, I mean, hundreds of thousands, possibly millions of people who do this. And that's just their job. They go to work every day and they do this. Or is that the same in Russia? Well, you, I, I think you heard, you read the reports about the troll farm. There's a, a lot of uh, uh, reports uh, and a lot of uh, people who worked uh, at the troll farm in St. Petersburg. Uh, have you heard about this? Like, I, I, you mean like fresh our memory to yeah. become an actual <laughs> live bot? Uh, no, no, but it's called like it, it was called uh, Internet Research Agency officially, officially and it's uh, it was a company. Uh, uh, it was a company which belonged to the um, uh, one of like Putin's like friends, which is called uh, which is um, uh, called Isol Prigozhin, and he's uh, uh, known colloquially as like Putin's cook because originally. Uh, he was uh, like he's in the restaurant business, like supported by the government. He also kind of uh, uh, Putin's friend and he kind of uh, uh, during their internal parties, he kind of is the one responsible for catering. Uh, but also he's responsible for this uh, troll farm, uh, which is uh, basically just a, a, a building like an office block. Uh, full of uh, different departments and these departments, people that work there, they're not hackers. I mean, maybe they were hackers, but it's not what it's about. The point is uh, these people who uh, like write comments, people who start like these campaigns, like on, on uh, Facebook, for example, uh, which uh, like I think uh, was uh, in America, uh, there were a lot of talk about this during Black Lives Matter, like all the riots and stuff, which would start like a fake support campaign or something like this yeah the yeah. people disinformation disinformation so campaign. yeah disinformation so the, like they're like trolls that's why it's called troll farm so yeah. they kind of different department like department which works in russia the it works like for american affairs like some do they Europe have and stuff. education for that like training like how do they learn like we have to, to be able to type like americans type or speak you know or... uh yeah like that was that's uh, usually was one of the uh, methods to identify that it's actually like a russian uh troll rather than an uh, actual uh, like uh, uh person who starts this who starts this uh, genuinely uh is the small notes about grammar and about how like right. this person operates the english language uh but in general they are pretty convincing and they, they are, have like think, algorithms yeah. yes but uh, sometimes uh, it's clear that this is not a sentence that a native speaker would say, for example, and that's how it kind of identifies. Uh, but I mean, with Americans, I think it could be difficult because you, you don't speak proper English. That is very true. We don't, especially online, people don't. So it's hard to, yeah. it's really hard to tell yeah. sometimes because people can just be, I mean, plenty of Americans can sound like they're not native speakers when they're online yeah. and yeah. angry yeah. about yeah. something. Yeah. <laughs> so, but do, so is there a different like hierarchy of, of like, so, so I think I mean, that's, that's why, <laughs> what's that? That's why Russian. That's why the Russian trolls uh, didn't start any campaign in Oxford University. No, like, <laughs> it would be easier to identify. <laughs> yeah, like, excuse so, me. Yeah, they're, they're, there they're, the Queen's here. English. The Queen's English. You should be speaking. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. Uh, is there a hierarchy yeah. almost to like the uh, like the troll farm, the lowest end end of hackers, or like there's a whole complex where you can like work your way up to become doing a more high level things or do you know anybody well, the, po the point is like uh, when speaking about russia and i noticed that a lot because i speak to a lot of like during my like tours and in edinburgh and everywhere like on different uh, like uh, podcasts as well uh one of the 
uh, things which is all, all, almost always associated with Russia is the assumption that everything is very, very centralized in Russia, uh, which is, uh, you know, which is not true. And like Russians, especially like Russians who follow, who follow like modern Russian investigative journalism, uh, they understand this is completely not the case. For example, uh, the troll farm, which belong as a company, belong to Prigozhin, to this uh, private uh, businessman. Yeah, uh, but of course, it worked uh, uh, like in the interests of the government. But again, nobody can prove it uh, because the, when Putin was asked about this, when it was all revealed, asked about this, what so Prigozhin is your friend? He's like, well, yeah, he's like a, kind of a buddy of mine. Yeah, I'm allowed to have friends. <laughs> you know. and then friends. they say but he was doing but he was doing it in the interest of the russian state and he's like how do you know that it's a private company who cares you know, like i don't i don't so there's always a um yeah a level of uh deniability plausible yeah. deniability yeah, yeah, is always much. always there you're what about uh putin did speak of putin, he said yesterday i was just doing last minute research and he said to svr when they asked him about um, all this hacking, he said, of course, we did not do it. We had nothing to do with mm -hmm. it. This is not yes. us. But he also told SVR, keep up the good work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, so a little pat in the back. From the, maybe get, trying to motivate FSB a little bit like SVR. He sounds hilarious. I'm just going to say. <laughs> no, but there, it was also way. I think it was recently it was a day of um, like some kind of a professional holiday of the of the SVR. Uh, yeah. Oh, they so each have their own yeah, day. So maybe that was the kind of again, again, their holiday kind party. Use use this con use this context to kind of <laughs> slide in a compliment. And then we had an Dictators American. Dictators are funnier, by the way. Sorry. Hmm? Sorry. <laughs> you I say, said Dictators yeah. do seem to have better comic timing. Not for nothing. The, on. Yeah, <laughs> they, they seem to have better timing in general. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have to uh, worry about, you know, all, all of our politicians worry about getting reelected yeah. all the time. Yes. And so they're they're walking around on eggshells. But these guys can really stretch back and relax, <laughs> you know, themselves. They got time. <laughs> yeah, they got nothing but time. But our I, I, one of our I don't know who it was, some congressman or something said that this a, a hack of this level First of all, there's been a lot of compliments in America going, actually, this was a great hack. It's a real, yeah. <laughs> they go, this is one of the better hacks. I mean, and that's why I, it had to be that's from what, Russia. That's what, I, that's what I like about Americans. You appreciate professionalism. Like, we do. You, can, you're a, <laughs> exactly. you have a cold culture based on that. You know? yeah. <laughs> like, if somebody but can do something said, well, it should be put to good use. Exactly. Capitalism. Exactly. That, and that really is. Like all the articles I've read, they go, first of all, you have to know, no amateur did this. This is high level stuff. <laughs> But they also said that this could be seen as an act of war. And one one politician said that I forget who it was, but Dick he Durbin, said this I is an act of war. Who was Senator it? Senator Durbin, I believe, said that maybe. Senator Durbin, is there Shout any out. thought in Russia? You said no one's even talking about this in general. So this may be a dumb question. But mm -hmm. is there any thought that this could lead to war? Maybe from Putin's Putin seems to not think that in any way. Right. Mm hmm. Well, no, but they know they're now. I don't know if the, uh, how much this um, term is used and if it's used at all actually now in America. Do you use the term hybrid war? Hybrid war? No, I don't think so. I don't know. Yeah, we what use is hybrid that? to describe puppies that are two different breeds, but no. <laughs> yeah, so uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's a continuation of this idea. Yeah, so <laughs> hybrid hybrid war is essentially an interesting term. It's originally, of course, not Russian. It's originally from like political uh, science, uh, I believe, like in America or Europe. Uh, and then we have a very good political scientist in Moscow, liberal political scientist, uh, who used this and who kind of popularized this to describe like hybrid, like for example, hybrid, hybrid, um, hybrid regime, hybrid democracy is a kind of the democ like a dictatorship uh, which uh, puts on the facade of democracy, something like what Russia has, what uh, like some, uh, uh, well, even China is uh, to some extent a hybrid regime like it's not like north korea isn't for example yes but russia see, is yeah. so and then and, and the hybrid war is a, a term uh, which uh, was picked up by putin and by by russian uh, like pro-government uh, um, like politicians and political commentators and the hybrid war is uh, basically a way to describe this kind of um uh, what what the, they they call this hybrid war like spread of spread of like 
presumably fake information, disinformation, uh, hacking. Uh, so basically everything which is hostile action, sanctions, for example, everything yes. which is hostile actions, but without actual like conflict, like physical no bombs conflict. are being dropped. Yeah. yeah, I think in America, I mean, maybe political scientists are calling it a hybrid war. I think the average person in the newspapers, it's, it's called like the new Cold War almost or the Internet Cold War, the, something like that. Possibly, but I, I, I think in general, in general, if we, if we look at it from the point of view of just like how the language works, uh, it's, uh, you know, the term war itself is kind of, it's a little bit of a scaremongering from like in somebody's political interest because, uh, 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 well, there's actually no uh, like open conflict, but we need to somehow emphasize that it's serious. Yes. Yeah, we're not going to...